Today is December the 17th, 2023, and I'm doing my first burn for the winter. I'm preparing my little rocket heater for the winter. The weather forecast, or the weather forecasters are telling us it's going to be a harsh winter. I've been using this for over five years now to heat the cabin. This is the way I've got it on the timber floor. Strips of wood for air circulation. Fire bricks just in case. I don't think I really need it. There's very little heat in that drum, but I do need some protection under the burn tunnel, which is just steel. So this is gonna be the hottest part around the front here. This is a flower pot stand, sold locally in the hardware stores. I found that it fits just perfectly over this drum. Right, let's get cracking. I'm going to wrap, wrap some uh, wires around there to retain these bricks. Okay, I've got the first layer of fire bricks wrapped around the cylinder. Just temporarily held with a bit of stainless steel wire until I tighten things up. little thermal battery on top. First thing to do before firing up is to remove the ash from the previous burn. I hope we don't get any back burn. There's a bit of wind outside today. But this is the way I do it. Start with a bit of paper. Put some used chopsticks down there. Once those chopsticks take light, if they take light, oh gee. Okay, we've got fire. This is the second burn for this winter. This, the first burn was yesterday where I uh, installed the new top. Um, the previous one lasted approximately five years. It could have been more. And um, yesterday I burnt off a little bit of the paint around the edge here, which I couldn't get in with a grinder. Very surprised to see steam coming off that wood, which, be, which has been sitting in this box for two years. Just goes to show it has absorbed um, 
moisture through this hot, humid summer.